was uh, we come somewhere really nice to do the video for the first single off the new album, which is called Stuck on You. And uh, we haven't been anywhere really showbiz before to do a video, have we? We haven't, no. So we, so we chose the most one of the most showbiz places in the world. I am in Florida. And um, what we've done up to now has been really, really productive. We've sort of like <laughs> waited around the airports and stuff, and we've waited a bit more. You know. So, uh, it's going to be a great video. This girl promised to go and get the van. And she's come back. Excuse me, excuse me. Here I am. Oh, obviously I recognise you. It's gorgeous, don't you? <laughs> How rough do I look? <laughs> You guys get right inside, the front desk will take care of everything. Okay. Come with it. Get out of it. You're coming in. <laughs> no, you're not. It's morning. It's, it's early. And it's Come on, let's too, go. It's too early and we're being rushed out of here. We've got to do this video on the beach. Miami. Oh, I've got some. Go for it. The yours is just yours. Get something to see. Is that a one? Ah, we got this one. <laughs> okay. No, no, no room. Okay. No room there. We well, yeah. we just walk then, eh? Can 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 we come? <laughs> I feel a bit tired actually. Not tired, but the eyes feel like that. Look at me. Goodbye. <laughs> I know this one. Dex knows it's the part of his body that he likes the least, and I know that for a fact. We're on Miami Beach filming the video. We're stuck on you, aren't we? Yeah, we are, mate. It's very hot, and we've, we've had to apply sunblock on, our, on arms, neck, and face. It is really hot, really and hot. And we're going to burn, but you see this? See this? Text to you there. What does that say? Star. Where's our Winnie Bagel? That's how I like it. We don't have one. I'm Where not treated it? like a star. I don't act like one. That's why he has to put it on his t shirt so everybody knows. But anyway, the video is about um, us in Miami. Basically, it's just exploiting the lovely spots in Miami, really, with, <laughs> with us in colorful jackets. You see. It's one of those upbeat type of you drive anywhere, we'll film it type of videos, isn't it, mate? Mm. But it's going to be fab. There's lots of cameras. This camera is filming us for our long-form video. This camera here is filming us for the video. And this camera over here, this one, is just from some Klingon. Can you, can you just clear the beach, please? Can Sorry. you just clear the beach? Thanks. Pretty good, actually. I like that. These are the clothes wearing in the video. More of them wearing very colourful jackets that we've been told, we've been told are uh, very trendy. And this is the person that, that stares us. This is Ashley over here, getting tan. Yeah. Got to do some work. What? And moans about me moaning most. Actually, we actually met on the set of Bite Grove. Jack had been in for a year. And, um, I, I went, was little chubby chops on my own. He was, was, was a little chubby extra, and I didn't even <laughs> recognise him when I joined. And, but, um, uh, we met him during the second series, which is about what? A little, little, like, six years ago now, five or six years yeah. ago. And we didn't really get on, did we? Well, we didn't. We, we you thought we was miserable or something? I thought you were dead miserable. You just sat in the you sat in the corner <laughs> with his hands. Mm. It's because I didn't know anyone, you know. But you could have cheered away. You could have smiled. My first moment in Bike Grove was very daunting, I think, because everybody, all the all the cast had been there a year before and then they came back and everybody was like hi how are you doing and everything and that's why i was sitting in the corner because i didn't know anyone and i was like sitting on this big family because a bike was really like a big family and if you weren't involved you felt you felt really out of it and i, I felt out of it for the first couple of weeks and, until i got to know everyone i think i remember the first scene we did together where we the, the scene where pg and duncan first met was in the reception of the radio station wasn't it yeah and he was swinging around on his chair and what was it again <laughs> hype that's the name of the game. High five. Morgan's best sellers of Breaking Bike and Bike and Grove. I, I don't believe it. You want to do it like this, man? Morgan's best sellers of Breaking Bike and Bike and Grove. I, I don't believe it. Yes, they're giving them away. Well, almost. At the big, big Bike and Grove Bonanza. 
year starts at two o'clock. You fall on down to bait a grove. They're always giving them away, I Well, remember. almost. And the big, I'm... big bait of bananas. So ball... We still remember the lines to all them scenes. Sad. Especially that scene. Sad, aren't we? Yeah, it's sad. We can't remember the lines to our songs when we come <laughs> to the video shoots. <laughs> <laughs> the first single, Tonight I'm Free, that was, that was, the producer came to us and said, how do you fancy making a storyline where the boys make a band? And we said, yeah, okay. And um, he said, we've got this track by a band called Let Loose, and Let Loose were totally unheard of. And um, he said, we'd like to do a different version and um, speed it up and use it in the, in the show. And we thought it was an all right track to start with, didn't we? And um, that went on. We were going to release it, and then we weren't, and we were, and we weren't, and then eventually... There was actually, there was actually a, a record company interested and then uh, things got really legal you know what i mean all the all, lot of politics got involved and we were actually dropped by the record company before we actually before we even signed uh, with them we were dropped by a record company by, before by a big label and then um and then the show went out we got loads of letters and i remember appearing on uh, live and kicking now what's your question um, my question's for duncan um is there any plans to release the song as a single and if so when would it be coming out uh, well, we're not going to release the song now as a single, but you can still... Oh. Oh. And then after that, we got so many letters that our record company Telstar picked up and then, and then released that one. Tonight I'm free. Tonight I'm free. The thing is, I've got a place at the Royal National Council School in Hereford, you know, for... Lying kids, I won't be back. I'll be seeing you then. I'll miss you. Don't. We this... didn't decide to leave Vita Grove, did we? No, the thing was with Vita Grove, because it was a, a kids' TV show and it, because it was based around a youth club. You could only be in it so long without, without, because everybody stops going to a youth club at a certain age, and we'd turned like 17, 18, mm. and they just said, you'd stop coming to youth club now. So yeah. Yeah. And we went, oh, okay then. So that was, it was just, it was a natural thing. Everybody leaves at some point, and our time had come. Why me? I didn't want to release records because I thought we'd just get dubbed with a Kylie Jason actor turns pop star type of thing. But um, I wanted to really be a really serious actor, really yeah. deep. But the thing, I'm glad in a way that the first and second single didn't really do too well because it gave us a lot of experience doing clubs and gigs and everything before before Let's Get Ready to Rumble, where it, it took off really. Mm. We were doing like three clubs a night around the country, driving around for months and months until we released Why Me. And we and we jumped from entering that 54 tonight and free to 27 with Why Me, so it, it, it paid off. In the end. I mean, you know how bands say like we've done gigs in front of two men and a dog. We have really, literally, we've done gigs in front of like just men who didn't want to see us. Do you know what I mean? And bottles thrown at us and things like that. Yeah, we've with. had loads of stuff like that. Like, like everybody says, oh, you must get loads of underwear thrown at. Yeah, and we we got ashtrays. <laughs> we bottles did actually. Of Pepsi thrown at us as well. Yeah, I remember when you got hit by a bottle once. I got hit by a bottle on stage once. And I thought, but like you, when we first started out, you. I took it really personally. I was thinking, does he not like me or something? Mm. But then I just realised he was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he wears a few, but his main one is Eternity by Calvin Klein. I don't know why Let's Get Ready to Rumble was a big hit. I think because it was summer and it was a really big up tempo song and um, it was very tongue-in-cheek especially the video and the lyrics and I don't know really and we saw our profile had been getting bigger and bigger and, it, and we our fan base was getting bigger and but it, it really it really took off we, I, I never expected that to happen no. it surprised us really really did surprise, did surprise us we, especially especially going on top of the post for the first time we, we were like that was we were like just little kids that was daunting very daunting <laughs> Ready to rumble, back to back. Let's get ready to rumble. Get ready, get steady, and rumble. Everybody rumble.
Uh, you play, what was she like? <laughs> no, you don't spell rumble with an H. We've, 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 got a, we've got a theory behind this, haven't we? Rumble with an H. It's because, you know, the rumble, the dance. Right. And, you know, the rumba, that's a dance as well. You spell that with an H. And it's sort of... That's why. <laughs> I've never heard this theory before. <laughs> but it's a very good answer. <laughs> Thanks. I rehearsed that. <laughs> <laughs> he has a wee, and has a wee. Yes, you can make your own Take That video by wearing a really big coat and dancing in a strange way. And to make it look really authentic, get a friend to pour water onto you in a rain-like effect, like so. I guess that's <laughs> That next show was really good fun, wasn't it? It's hard work. It was, was very hard work. It was the yeah. longest hours I've ever done. The one thing um, really does annoy us, though, is that we're not comedians. Yeah. We're not... <laughs> I hate that. We're no, really... you're laughing at this. Right? <laughs> we're but, not comedians. But people will say, no, it's a comedy show. And they, but, I mean, I would hate to build myself as a comedian, do you know what I mean? Because we just like having a good laugh, really. That's the only thing. Yeah. I don't ever want to be called a comedian. It just reminds me of people like... Chocolate Brothers. No. <laughs> no, I was going to say that. Cannon and Ball. Frank Carson and Little and Large and Hinge and Bracket, <laughs> which we model ourselves <laughs> on. But. We are always on the telly. We're, we're those two irritating Geordies that are, are never off the telly. Um, yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, we are, aren't we, really? We, quite, we get quite worried, though, sometimes. Yeah, we, we get worried about overexposure and things. Um, no, because people come up to us and they say, you're never off the telly, you. And I mean, you go, yeah, yeah, that's right, but it can get a bit worrying as well because, you know, people can get really sick of you really easily. Yeah. We all had a meeting and things and decided to calm it down because we didn't want to appear to a Chesney Hawks and burn out, really. Do you know what I mean? Though? But, yeah, but that, yeah, but that's what happened, really. The telly. OK, sorry. He's got this favourite saying at the moment that, do you know what, the one thing I hate the most is, but he hates loads of things. We actually wrote this one, because we wrote a lot of our, all our B-sides and three tracks on the album, and this was our first chance to write the A-side, which is it's exciting. Really exciting. Yeah. We're really nervous as well about it being released because it's it's more of us in there. Yeah. So um, it's very exciting, but we're very nervous as well. I couldn't put a precise number on it, but he's got hundreds all on his wall at home. We haven't had a number one yet. Um, <laughs> I'm not totally disappointed. I didn't really expect one yet. I think we sort of still doing all the groundwork, I mean, aren't we? Mm. I'm quite pleased that we didn't sort of... I'm, I'm really pleased. We, tonight, I'm afraid, didn't just go, phew, number one. <laughs> well, not that it would have. <laughs> <laughs> not like this song to be number one. It's still new. That would be brilliant. Hey.